y'all already know. <coughs> we gotta get this, gotta get this shared out. Hold on, let me do something. Hey man, for right now, we're gonna have a computer, we're gonna have an AI going into trouble. We got Evander Holyfield versus Rocky Marciano. I'm finna share this stream out, you know what I'm saying? But, and then we're gonna get into what everybody came here to see. And we already know, everybody came here to see the, uh, the Rocky Marciano, I mean, uh, the Zab Judah versus NCGC, yo. Three. So, we're gonna get into that. But just give me some time right quick. Yeah, just give me some time right quick. Let me let me go ahead and share this out for y'all right quick. But hey man, if you in the chat, if you in the stream, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Hit the chat, you know what I'm saying? Type in the chat. We're gonna have a good time in here, bruh. And we're gonna be lit on God. On God. But are y'all ready to see this fight, bro? I don't know if y'all really ready to see this fight. I ain't gonna lie. This fight is gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? This fight gonna be very action-packed. But, you know, don't sleep because if y'all seen the last stream, he did beat us once. He did beat us. So, if y'all didn't watch the stream, y'all might want to go watch that one too. Just let me know, man. Let me know what y'all. Let me know if y'all ready, man. Type type W in the chat if you ready. Let's get into it, man. If y'all already don't know, like I said, if you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this gem with your friends. And let's get into it, man. Let's get into what everybody has been waiting for, man. If y'all see my preview on the gram, make sure you like it. If you see it on TikTok, make sure you like it. Hey, it's time to go stupid, man. Y'all already know. All right, now, before we ended this stream off last time, we never chose our opponent. And our manager, he already, you know, he already wanted us to pursue this fight anyway. So, with us being 11-1 and one with 11 knockouts and being knocked out one time before, we are going to get Zab Judah for the third time. 45 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw with 30 KOs. And to be to be fair, I got to remind y'all, I am one of those people that he KO'd. 
So it's time. It's time to see who's finally the better man and who's finally the best person in that ring. All right. Like I said, if you knew, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, bruh. But we got four weeks for this fight. We have three weeks to train. And then it's time to fight. Let's look at these fight challenges right quick. Knock down your opponent by round three. Knock out your opponent in under five rounds. Win with less than 22% damage received. And win with a punch accuracy above 51%. I think we could do all of those. All of those are doable. And also, Rob wants to sponsor us, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to take that sponsorship right quick. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take that sponsorship right quick. So, let's get let's get to it, man. Oh, let me check my let me check out our box of growth right quick. Okay. Okay, we're at 827. So, what we're going to do, y'all already know. Well, it's, it's, a, it's actually a little different this time because we only got three weeks to train. So what we're going to do is we're going to train first. We're going to do our, uh, our open spar because we're going to need that. And then after that, we're going to do our athletic training. You know what I'm saying? Just to get to like 20%, then we take our rest. You already know. Hey. I'm excited, bro. I'm, ex I'm excited to bring this fight to y'all, bro. I'm excited to bring this third fight to y'all, man. It's been a long time coming. We, our spawn partner is uh, named Purity. Okay. Now, y'all already know. This character, straight inside work. No care. But, with Zab Judah in the end of what? The first fight, we ended up having to switch our game plan. Because we were tired. But, we was with the wrong camp. As y'all seen. Oh, my goodness. We heard him. As y'all seen. In the uh in the second fight we had the we had the correct camp you know what I'm saying we had the uh, the New Mexico you know what I'm saying and New Mexico was it did us justice as y'all can see because we won that by knockout you know what I'm saying I feel like I feel like if we would have stuck with our team for the first fight you know what I'm saying we would have got we would have got the knockout but it is what it is no trip we still gonna do what we gotta do you know what I'm saying we still gonna make sure that we we show people, man, that our win was no flute. His win was the flute. And that we are the better, we are the better fighter. Right now we in the ring and we we get we get our spawn on right now. You know what I'm saying? Purity. Cool dude. I think I might have beat him before. I don't know for sure. But he ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? He trying. But it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really working. But he doing us justice because. He's fighting exactly how Zab is going to fight. We already know how he's going to fight because we fought him twice. Y'all already know that. But this time, you know, he might be different because we already, you know what I'm saying, knocked him out. But then also, he might not be so different because he only knows one fighting style. It just all depends on how, how he's being trained. But from what we know, you know what I'm saying, he fights just like how our spawn partner is. So, you know, we 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 good. We good. This is good spawn for us. We got the 800 XP, which means we got 1600 at the moment. And from what I'm looking at, our speed needs to be up. I'm not going to hold you. We'll be at 20%. So, the last one will be, uh the last week will be our rest week. You know, already know. Got to make sure we got that stamina. You know what I'm saying? Let's get out. Let's get our stamina up. Now, let's go ahead. Now, where should we put this, this heat on right now? Where should we do? We caught him with a lot of good straights. So, I'm willing to put the straights up. You know what I'm saying? And then, maybe we could just keep it pushing right there. Maybe put the right hooks to the body up. You know what I'm saying? And boom. Now, I think that we are fight ready. We are fight, you know what I'm saying? We are prepared. It's time to get into it, man. It's time to go do it. Time to go do what we've been training to do for a long time. And who knows? Maybe in this this part five, we become world champion. So, hey, you never know. We are back in Aragon Ballroom in Chicago, man. 
36 years old, 22. We already know this tale of the tape because this is our third time seeing it. Hey, it is time. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is time to put that work in. It is time. It's time. Let's go. Let's go. There he goes right there. He still got them cuts on his face from last time. He still got the cuts on his face from last time. Okay. We touch up. Let's go. It's work time, baby. It's work time. Exactly what the announcer said. All the talk, all the hype. Now it's time for the fight. Oh. He trying to, he trying to, you know, he trying, he trying to keep us right there. But we being smart, blocking, using our footwork, stepping back. Oh, okay. We good where we at. There we go. Good counter punching. We good right here. Because as we know. Our reach is is better than his. And we already know them straights hurt him. See? He get caught with those a lot. We know that. Because we didn't fold him twice. He trying, he trying to, you know, he trying to, he trying to finesse his way. But it ain't really working how he thought it would. Okay. We both catch each other with straights. Oh, I catch the body, then I bring the up hook. Step over up. Hey, man, we being smart about what we doing right now. We touch the body a little bit, stepping back. Oh, we, we slip the right hand and we touch the body. We touching it. We touching them. Being smart. Oh, step in. Catch him with a up. We missed with the hook just a little bit. Just a little bit. Good first round. You know what I'm saying? Good first round. I I think that we have him cut already. I ain't going to hold you. I think we got him cut already. I ain't even going to lie. I think we already got him cut. If I'm keeping it a hundred with y'all, I think we already got him cut. I got I gotta see I gotta see his uh his face. As y'all can see, he is already cut, y'all. He already cut. Look at his face. I don't think he's recovered from our last uh actions in the ring because as y'all if y'all seen the last stream, his face was already cut up before. Oh my goodness, and we catch him. In the beginning of the round, immediately. Oh, yeah, he hurt. He hurt. He hurt. It's okay, though. You're going to keep our composure because we didn't drop him. Oh. Uh-huh. We catch him again. We gonna, hey, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to focus on that eye. One thing about fighting a person back to back, they don't get to recover. If he was injured, he never went to the hospital. Ooh. Just like that. We're going to let our offense set up our defense. And then throw out punches and bunches. Y'all already know what it is. Let our offense set up our defense. Just like how we doing it. With a jab, stepping back, using our footwork. He's too far back. He must be a little frustrated. Because we touching him and he not touching us. Easy. Easy work. Easy work. Look at his face. His face, his face is still clearly hurting. But I would I would I would have loved to drop him this round. I would love to drop him this round, and I think that we are. Just like that. I clearly just said it. 
I would love to drop him this round, and then the second round, he goes down. Look at his face. We keep targeting that, what, his right eye? We keep targeting it and look at it. He can't keep taking his punishment. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Okay, he gets up, though. He gets up. No problem. No problem. We touch the body. Oh. Ooh. We gonna keep touching him. Great round. Great round by us. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this fight is going that long. I honestly don't think this fight is going that long. This was a good build up, but as y'all can see, he's clearly being our class. You know, good fighter. Can't take nothing away from him. But just look at the way we are, you know what I'm saying? We are touching him up. We tattooing his face right now. We trying to cut his water off. We trying to cut his water off. Just like that. We gonna keep touching him. He can't get it. He can't he can't get away from the left hands. Oh man. We almost had that counter. Use our jab. Use our jab. He can't hit us, but we get him. You know what I'm saying? Smart inside fighters. We know when to go in and we know when to stay on the outside. I don't like how our stamina is, is already, you know what I'm saying, looking like that, but it's okay. He touching our body, I'm not gonna lie. He was he was touching our body right there. But now we touching his. We keep we keep we gonna we gonna keep touching him. Oh we keep touching him. He cannot get away from the left hands, no matter if it's an up or a straight. I think it's because he cannot see out of that right eye. We keep using that footwork. Keep touching him with those ups. Those straights. Powers or not, don't matter. We're going to keep touching him. It don't matter. We're going to keep touching him just like that. Hey, we just got a subscriber. Hey, man, if you just subscribe, make sure you like, comment, and share this with your friends. Also, type in the chat because we having a good time in this third fight. You know what I'm saying? Very competitive fight. We dropped him in the second. Now it's the fourth. Uh, I want y'all to see his face before I skip this. You know what I'm saying? Does it seem like he could see out of that right eye? So we're going to keep we gonna keep throwing our left hand easily. Thanks for the subscribe, Becca Payne. Thank you. Okay. He grab he grabs his eyes still badly hurt. He's doing a good job and not trying and not letting us count him, but we, we take that we take that counter right there. Ooh. That's defense. He got good. He got good defense too. He got good defense too. Oh, he counters us that time. It's all good. It's all good. Good power straight. See, our power shots are subtle. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy. But look at our stamina, you know. Now we got we got we got to be a little smart because obviously our team isn't taking care of our stamina like we want them to. You know, so we we got to we got to we got to recover a little bit. Use our jab, you know what I'm saying? Stay on the outside. Catch him when we can. If we hurt him, then we get him out of here. But if we don't, you know, we don't force it. You know what I'm saying? We just keep we just keep doing what we doing right here. Use that jab. Rack up those points. 
You know what I'm saying? We get those counters like that and we good. Use jab, rack up those points. You know? Keep doing it just like that. You know what I'm saying? Work on the things that we worked on in the training camp. Because we knew that he would fight like this. But we also know that he can't hit us for real. Mm, look at his face. Finally, we get to recover by 7% on the stamina. So we at 72 while he's at 87. I'm okay with that. That's no problem. Because his damage is at 93 and I was at zero. You know what I'm saying? So we good. Let's get into it, man. Mm. I counted him. He counted me. Good sequence. This is easy. This is easy. Oh, my God. We drop him with a step over uppercut. Easy. And it was right there on that eye, too. I told y'all we had to attack that eye, and we did. Let's see if he gets up. Let's see if he gets up off of that. Let's see. He look like he is, though. He goes back down. He cannot beat the count. And just like that, we take... The W home. We knock him out for the second time. We finally prove that we are the better fighters. You know what I'm saying? Easily. Just like that. Hey. I knew this was going to be a quick one. I knew this was going to be a quick fight, bruh. And as y'all can see, we made it easy. We made it quick and fast. Boom. Now he's out of there because we kicked his ass. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Just like that, we get the W. Just like that. He didn't stand a chance. We won every round. Got the KO. It was only a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? It was only a matter of time. Spam up W's, bruh. Spam up the W. Spam up the W. Spam up the W. Because, hey, that was easy. You know what I'm saying? That was easy. That was easily done. That was easily done. Easily, bruh. Easily. Let's see. He got. He landed all of his counter shots. But we had 21 opportunities. He only had three. He threw 142 power shots. We only threw 13. Uh, our ups. We landed 100. Like, literally 100 on the dot uh, punches to his... You know what I'm saying? We landed 218. He landed 118. We threw 402 to hit 267. Our body shots were landing. Our head shots was landing. Our accuracy was good where we needed it to be. And just like that, we get the dub, man. We get the W just like that. Didn't knock him out in another uh, five rounds, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? We knocked him out at five rounds, but it's all good. You want the rubber, let's see what that means. You look really solid out there for the rubber match fight, and everyone talk about how you beat him down twice in a row. The media and fans are behind you right now. It's time to capitalize on this momentum and keep winning. Hey, man, I told y'all we would get the W in the third fight, and just like that we did. Let's see. The street is your own is getting a lot of attention. We have a potential fight against a boxer that's a little better than what you're used to. You interested could be big money. That looks like Oscar De La Hoya, if I'm not mistaken. And that is, he's ranked number six. 43 wins with seven losses, 34 KOs. If y'all know your boxing history, bro, this is a legend right here. The, the owner of the Golden Boy Promotions. You know what I'm saying? This is the Golden Boy himself. They're giving us 120000 for this fight. It's a 10-rounder. And he's 5'10". So, I like this fight. Let's look at our other options, though. Let's look at our other options right quick. Let's see. Let's see what, the, <coughs> what other fights we got. Okay. We got Julio Cesar Chavez. <coughs> Zab Judah. 
Miguel Cotto and Kendall Hall. But none. <coughs> but none. That's like um, Oscar De La Hoya. So I'm going with that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going with that one. Let's go, Oscar De La Hoya. He's the highest. He ranked number six. And we trying to get that title fight as fast as possible. So let's 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 take that. That's a good fight that our manager recommended. I ain't even gonna hold you. Hmm. Let's look at our growth right quick. You know what I'm saying? Our straights have been landing like it's nothing. I think we need to get that up there a little higher. Hold on right quick, y'all. Let me go get some water. All right, bet. Let's get back into it. For the straights. We going to wait. We going to wait. Let's go to Probably defensive specialist because Oscar De La Hoya can punch and we gonna need that defense, you know what I'm saying, to maneuver. Alright, 20 thou, we gotta get this championship, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Step back easy. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Hold on right quick, y'all. I'll be back. All right, man, let's get right back into it. Y'all already know. We're going to get right back into it. Oh, we actually spawned Julio Cesar Chavez, which is kind of, you know, kind of like Oscar De La Hoya. But it's all good. This is exactly what we need. We need a puncher just like him to be spawned. You know what I'm saying? We need to be fighting just somebody just like him. He ain't really doing too much, though. I don't see how we didn't get our points for evading that shot right there, but it's all good. There we go, just like that. We have 15,000. We're going to get this 20,000 easily.
We still, we still moving. We good, we good. This is easy, easy, you know what I'm saying? Easy XP right here. Easy XP, boom, just like that. 800, you know what I'm saying? Champion level, 800 XP, just like that. We got the heavyweight world champion online right now. I will be having online gameplay coming to y'all very soon. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at these fight challenges. Knock out your opponent under five rounds. Win with a punch RC above 50. Knock down your opponent by round three. And win with less than 21% damage received. We can accomplish all of that easily, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So... Now, this time, we're going to do some just some regular sparring. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to, you know what I'm saying, beat him at his own game. We know he's pun We know he can. he's a puncher and he can work on the inside, but can he work better than us on the inside? Let's see. We keep touching him. We sticking and moving. We on the inside with him because y'all already know that's what we trying to do. <clears throat> so when we end it with this guy, we got to be first. You know what I'm saying? We got to... Create our counters and create our movement being done. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Even though we missed, but we gonna we gonna we gonna time it right, we're gonna get that one right. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, he cut this with a good counter. catch him with a counter we heard him we gotta drop him right quick just to let him know that you know what i'm saying that we really living like that you feel me mm, we heard him again with a clean straight soon as we go back into the middle of the ring Just like that, easy. We pretty much got this in the bag. I ain't gonna lie. Hurt him again. Hurt him again, just like that. Just like that. We get that. 800 XP. Easily. Got a champion. We about to rest up right quick. Get to our, you know what I'm saying, our pick with you fight. But first, y'all already know, we got to go with the box of growth right quick. Now, like I said, this straight has been landing and it has been landing perfectly for us. We have the reach to really make this, you know what I'm saying, one of our power punches. So, I think that we should, and I'm going to put it all the way up. And then maybe I want to say we're going to put our heart up because I know I know they be going to that body a lot. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no regular fight, y'all. This fight gets us, I want to say, into the top 10 of being, you know what I'm saying, ready for a title shot. You feel me? So... We need to 
get this W so we can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, win this fight. We at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, bro. One of the biggest arenas out. We're going against Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy himself. We are 22 of age. He's 33. He's 5'10". We are 5'8". We have the same amount of reach, though. So, you know, of course he still has an advantage because he is the taller fighter, but we will still prevail. We will still get this W. We will be victorious. As Thanos said, I am inevitable. It's time to show. Let's go. First round. We catch him with a straight. But he's he's going, he's doing exactly what we thought, you know. He's he's a puncher. You know what I'm saying? Touching that body. That's exactly why. That's exactly why we put that heart up. We got to use outside. We can't really, you know what I'm saying? We can't really, uh, can't really do the step back. We got to walk to the side, you know, because he's so, he's so much taller than we are. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be smart about this. Ups is landing. We touch the body. Ooh, we hit him with a power up. We can't let him off the ropes, though. Yeah, we got to keep him right here. This is what we want him. Yeah, he, try, he tries to do a step back, but it don't work. Keep touching that. We keep touching that chin. Sooner or later, we going to cut his wood off. Sooner or later, y'all already know. Punches and bunches, too. Y'all already know. But we we still, we got we to gotta be very smart. We got to be very smart about how we doing this. That's why we got to keep him on the rope, because he moving. Oh my goodness, he touching us with a with a body shot that's something crazy. What a tremendous round, bruh. Great round. Great round. You know what I'm saying? That was tough. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. That was that was definitely tough. Let's do, yeah, let's use let's use some of that head movement too. Why we you why we using our you know what I'm saying our footwork? I head I head we gotta be moving too. Cause he he's not going anywhere. As we all know. I feel like he I feel like I feel like he's outworking us. While we on the inside. And for some reason, I feel like we're so slow compared to him. We got to knock him out. Yeah, we, we touching him, though. It's, hey, it's, it's no problem. Uh-huh. We touching him too now. Don't get it twisted. We gonna keep countering him just like that. No problem. Uh huh. We eager to get him, but we gotta be smart about it. We eager to get him, but we got to be smart about what we're doing. Just like how we're doing it right now. Because I don't think he's even thinking about the punch that he's throwing. Oh, 
Uh huh. It started off a good round for him, but I think we ended up making it a better round for us. Uh, we did that step back. We cannot do the step back against him. He touching our body, something crazy. Uh, all he got to do is just lean back just a little bit because he's taller than us and he know he has that advantage. Uh, we gotta walk. We gotta walk him down a little bit now. We gotta, you know what I'm saying? Throw our punters in bunches. We gotta, we gotta do something to make him respect us. Make that three. Two punch, three punch. Oh. I don't know who got countered that time. There we go. We counted him straight. We counter him again. We keep catching him with that counter. We counter him again. We keep touching him up. Easily, and he has way more damage. You know what I'm saying? I think this fight, bro, this is a good fight, but I think we are winning easily. You know what I'm saying? I think we are doing exactly what we were trying to do, and we just keep touching them. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, I like the way that this fight is going. I like the way that this fight is going. He has more damage than we do, so that's good. You know what I'm saying? He has he also has more stamina, but not as much. We at 77, he's at an 80. So let's get to it. Let's see who's winning. I'm winning every round. It makes sense. You know, first round, first round could have been a toss-up. Second round was mine. And so was the third. He's trying to be on the outside now. We got him on the ropes. Oh, he tells us that's that reach and that, you know what I'm saying, he's very tall and he also has that reach. Good counter. Keep moving our head. All right, now we got to walk a little bit. We got to walk now. Yeah, we got to walk him down. Oh, he catches us with a clean power straight. There we go. Yeah, we got to walk him down a little bit, man, because he, 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 try, he trying to move back. Catch him with a good power up. Oh, we let him off the ropes. We got to walk back again. Yeah, right behind our jab. Ah, uh, move out here. There we go. Move out here. We catch him with a counter. Catch him with a counter. We move our feet too. Oh, we almost caught him with a counter that time. Stamina's getting pretty low. But it's okay. We good where we at. We good where we at. No problem. Boom. Just like that. Okay. 
Fourth round, down. He still has more stamina than we do. He has 75, we have 69. So we're winning these rounds though, so we can we can chill one round, maybe two. I think this would be the round that we chill. Maybe the next one, you know what I'm saying? Even though he is the taller one, we still have a good jab. You know what I'm saying? We have a decent jab. So I think I think it's cool that we if we use that. You know what I'm saying? Hit and not get hit a little bit. Take this round off. You know, take out counters when they get there. Because we don't we don't we don't want to lose no stamina. You know, and right now he's not he's not really using his jab. He's trying to he's trying to get to us. See? He not really he not really using his jab like that. He ain't using the jab like that. We good. We good where we at. He slipped both of our punches. It's okay, and he ends up he ends up catching us with that one. If we want if we want to count him, we gotta step over. We can't we can't do we can't do the step back. Step back doesn't work with him because he's so tall. Even the side action doesn't work with him sometimes. But it worked that time. We good where we at? Keep yeah. Let let him let him use some of his stamina. You know we want his stamina right where ours are. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Let him keep using his. Let's touch the body a little bit. Yeah, let's touch the body. Let's yeah. Let's touch the body when we can. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep touching the body when we can. And keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. Okay. I say, I say that we, we gave him that round. He has 73. We have 76 stamina. I think it's time that we go back to work this round. I think it's time we go back to work this round. Let's get into it. Oh. We are now in the sixth round. Oh, we catch him and we drop him just like that. What a step over, counter, uppercut. I told y'all, man, we have the perfect game plan. We have the perfect team, you know what I'm saying, to really watch us do what we need to do. Let's see if he'll get up. That was a vicious knockdown, I'm not going to lie. If he gets up, he's really a soldier, and he does. Oh, we heard him. We hit him with a counter. He backs up. Oh, just like that, we do it again, easily, after we already just did it, we caught him in the corner, he couldn't, it was no way he could get out, and boom, we drop him one more time, let's see if he gets up, this is the second time in the same round we drop him, let's see what happens, let's see, oh, he is, he is a beat in the count, he beats the count. Let's touch that body again because that's what set up the first time. Yeah, let's touch that body again. Oh, counter. Oh, he counters us that time. Okay. He's going to the head, but we going to the body. We setting it up. Now nah, we get him off as quick and easy. Uh-huh. Now he's trying to move. But we still walking him down. We steady walking him down. Oh, my God. A up hook, step over, up. Boom, right on the button. He threw his punch, but his other hand was too low. He did not hold that phone. 
It's no way he gets up off of this. It's over just like that. Three knockdowns in one round. Over with, man. We want the title. We want the title. We want the title. All right? We want the title, man. Tell them to stop playing and give us our title shot, man. I feel like we earned it, you know. And now I feel like it's, it's time it's time for us to, you know what I'm saying, to get our opportunity in order to get that title shot, bro. We want that title shot. We want it. We want it right now. We want it right now. It's no, it's no time for games. It's time for us to get our title shot, man. We were so close in punches landing. I think this is actually the first time where somebody has actually thrown more punches than I have. He threw 482. I threw 461. We combined for over 900 punches, bro. What a great fight. I landed 261. He landed 203, 235. I only missed 200 of my punches on the exact. You know what I'm saying? Landed more ups. Had way more counters. Didn't throw as many power shots, but who needs to throw power shots when you got bombs in both hands already? You know what I'm saying? Six round KO. Easily done. Easily done. You know what I'm saying? This is exactly what we needed. We are now ranked eight. Let's see if we can get a title shot, bro. Let's see if we get a title fight right here, right now. Let's see. Thirteen to one, thirteen KOs. Let's see who we up against next. He's still ranked number seven. He's still ranked higher than us, even though we just beat him. But it's okay. No, no trouble. You know what I'm saying? No trouble. We now will go against Cyril Banks, five eight, sixty nine reaches, a boxer puncher, so he can put somebody down. 2-2-1 two, two in his last five with two knockouts, 19-3-1. His last two came from his last five, so it's a good fight. After this fight, it seems like it's a title shot, baby. Seems like it's a title shot. Now, y'all already know we're going to Mexico. Y'all already know that's the, that's the gym for us, bro. Mexico is the gym for us. Everybody knows that because when we changed last time, it did not work so good for us, bruh. It didn't work good for us at all when we changed last time. Now is the time to, you know, to make sure that we good and, you know what I'm saying, promo event for Nike. I could do that. I could, I could do this promo event. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really not really taking this fight. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this fight. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but this is my step-up fight. I feel like once I win this, I get a title shot. You know what I'm saying? And we move on forward. You know what I'm saying? We figure out what else we, we want to do. So, let's go ahead. Do this right quick. We're going to do, I think this is defensive specialist one. You know what I'm saying? And then, because from what I know, on a defensive specialist, bro, we need it because this man is a, is a, is a boxer puncher. You know, so we gonna need we gonna need all the defense we can. We the same height, but we have the reach. You know, his reach is what six nine, maybe six eight. Our reach is, as everybody already know, seventy three. No problem. You know, use our footwork. Make a miss. Not all the time will we get a chance to make them pay, though, but it's okay. Just like that, we keep moving. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep it pushing, man. Step back. Just like that. We good. We good. We at 10,000 right now. We only need 20,000, as y'all already know, to get the champion. We move, we block, he catches us, catches us again, we step back, catch him, we step back, boom, 14 thou. This should be easy. We sparred the person that we fighting before, 
You know what I'm saying? And we we pieced him up pretty bad. We dropped him and everything. You know what I'm saying? Without trying, actually. So, I think this fight should be an easy fight. Not not sleeping on him, though. You know, I don't sleep on anything but my pillow. But, seems very easy to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're going we gonna to get this dub for a show. No doubt about it. We keep moving. He can't really touch us. Even while we're in the corner. Easy 20,000. You know what I'm saying? Easy 800. Now this time, we're going we gonna to definitely have to rest, bro. Hold on, wait. Let me see something before we before we do this. Uh, before we do this event, bro. Because as I'm seeing it, why is our speed down so low? I have no idea. That's that's why I felt. I knew I felt that our speed was low. Let's put this only up to the flash knockdown. Then we can focus on something else. You know, we don't we don't necessarily need it. All the way up, but we need it somewhere up. You know what I'm saying? Just, just a little something, something, not crazy. Let's put our, let's put our blocking up. Let's put our blocking up. All right, cool. I'm prepared to do this event, and then I'm prepared to fight. Saru Banks, 19, three and one with 13 knockouts. He only has 23 fights. You know, not as much as. Uh, but I don't have as much as him, but you know, we, 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 we a little closer than, than what we used to, you know what I'm saying? We've been fighting people with 30 plus fights and you know what I'm saying? Three losses or 30 or 40 plus fights with 30 knockouts. You know what I'm saying? This dude right here, you know, nothing crazy. We closer. We in New York right now. We at the New York arena. You know what I'm saying? He's 25 years old. I'm 22. Battle with the Young Bucks, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm the Young Buck anyway. 22 years old. After this fight, I feel like we should get a title fight. And I feel like I'm going to make this fight very fast, quick, and easy. You know, we got to get him out of here. Right here. Right now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, he seems skinny. Oh, okay, he's kind of fast. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, he's he seen, he's seen. Oh, yeah, he's sweet. Yeah. As we already know, man, I put him down a few times in sparring. It's going to be the same in a fight. I can't believe he sent the contract over. Nah, get him off me. We keep countering him. We doing the exact same thing we was doing in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you sometimes you gotta fight your gym partner, man. Sometimes sometimes you gotta get your gym partner out of the way. We catch him. Clean counter. Clean counter one more time. Clean counter again. Good one too. Oh, we we missed the counter that time. We didn't miss it that time. I told y'all, man, we put him down in camp before. We didn't get him that time though. We just heard him, which is okay. Cause we could do it again. No problem. No problem. And we will do it again. Make them miss, make them pay. Make them miss, make them pay. Easy. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't no holding. Ain't no holding. Ain't your girl. Don't hug me. Mm, hurt him again. Let's see if we can put him down right quick. And talk about being saved by the bell. It was almost over for your boy Banks, man. Almost over. All's fan loving war, man. Y'all already know, 
we have to win. We have to win. You know, we cannot we cannot have another L on our record. We have to we have to win and we have to do it in a dominant fashion, man. He's trying. He won't go down. I will, I'll say that he's very uh, resilient. Not going to lie, he's very re re very resilient, you know what I'm saying? Oh, good slip. But I just personally think that we just too much for him. He's catching us with a few clean shots, but nothing crazy. Nothing to really get my attention. One thing about this character, we do have a good chin. And we also have a tremendous left hand. Just like, look look at the way, you know what I'm saying? He just can't get away from, from certain things. Now, he, now he's trying to hold. Oh my goodness, we catch him with another counter. We keep hurting this guy, man. We keep hurting him. I want to put him down. He has a good block, man. He has good guard. I'm not going to hold you. Oh, he just catches us with a good shot. Oh, just a little too far. We want him down. We want him down. We need him down. We touched him with power ups. Ooh, we almost caught him with a power up from a counter. Mm. Round two down. Round three, I think this fight is over. Let me know what y'all think. Round three, I think this fight is over. I think this round coming out, this fight is over with. Counter him again. Let's try to put him down. We keep we keep touching. Punches and bunches. Ooh. Catch him right on the button with a power straight. We in the corner and we touching him up even more. I don't know if he thought that, you know, sparring was just sparring and he was out of shape. But he's being completely outclassed. Ooh. We keep touching him. He just won't go down. He just won't go down. He won't go down. Which is a little different. Not what I expected. Very resilient opponent. Which makes for a good fight. Which makes for a good fight. Easily still think we won that round. We're racking these rounds up like it's nothing. But also, our stamina is going down. So sooner or later, we will have to take time out to relax. You know what I'm saying? Take a round off. Two counters. Back to back. Exactly. No, he's not throwing nothing that's really catching my attention. We keep touching him, though. 
We keep touching him, though. We touch him with something crazy. We trying to finish him. Ooh, we hit him with a clean jab straight hook. Moving our head. Oh, we just. Oh, there we go. We stunned him. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hold me. Oh, this is a drop. That's the drop that we was looking for. Finally. Finally, he goes down. We had to force that, though. Let's see if he gets up. I think he will. The way that he's been standing on his own, you know, easily, I think, I think this fight is going to the fifth round. This fight is going to the fifth round for sure. But. He's still hurt. He's still hurt. And our stamina is at 66% while his is at 85, but his damage is at 55 while ours is at zero. Our damage is at zero, y'all. I'm telling you. It's tough. I don't know if we take this round off and then knock him out in a six or we knock him out now. Type in the chat. What should we do? Knock him out now or knock him out later? Type in the chat. Let me know. Let me know, chat. Let me know. Let me know before this, before this, uh, before this break is up, let me know. Just say, just type now or later. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Go ahead. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, he heard us already. Wasn't even paying attention. He heard us. Oh, bucks. Oh. But it's okay. We've been hurt before. Now? Okay. Let's knock him out now then. Let's try now. If it doesn't work now, then we try. Then we try. Then we try again later. He hurt us. But it doesn't matter. Because we still walking. Remember, we dropped him last round, bro. We dropped him last round. Ooh, just like that. What a good sequence. Good counters. Just because he heard us don't mean that he will win this round. I don't know if he thought that we would give it to him because he heard us. Or we needed to, you know, recover the whole round. But we recover fast. Oh. Oh, my God. He's about to go down. He goes down once again. I told y'all, <coughs> we not giving him any rounds. We are trying to knock him out. You said now. Now look what we just did. We drop him once again. Let's see if he gets up. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he gets up right quick off that knockdown. Let's see. And he couldn't beat the count. And just like that, we get another dub, bruh. We get another dub just like that. Boom. We knock him out. I told y'all, man, this would be an easy fight. I knew it would be easy just because of the simple fact that we sparred him before. And we already, you know what I'm saying, had that experience with him. And just like that, we win. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Knocked him down twice. Fifth round knockout. You know. Uh, landed 283 out of 462. He only landed 150. He landed nothing significant. He landed nothing significant. He landed 56 power punches, but he had to have been weak. I'm not gonna lie because none of his punches got my attention. You know what I'm saying? But 
It's all good. At the end of the day, we still get the W. We are now ranked number six. You know what I'm saying? We didn't knock him out under five rounds. We knocked him out in the fifth round once again. But it's okay. No problem. We still get all of the rest of the things done. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's see what's next. We are ranked number six. Let's see what's in store for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, Oscar De La Hoya again is the the highest opponent. Okay. Hmm. We can fight Oscar De La Hoya for the second time. Timothy Bradley, Shane Mosley, whoever this guy is. I'm gonna go with. Oscar De La Hoya, just because he's the highest one, you know what I'm saying? He's three and two with three knockouts, but we we just really beat him, if we're being honest. We just knocked him out in what the sixth round, which is okay, no problem. So, you know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna we gonna win this fight. We gonna play this fight. Oh, we got the yearly awards. NTGCO is the prospect of the year with 14 and 1 and 14 knockouts. I'm actually ranked number 6. Who's the defensive fighter? I have no idea how to pronounce this man's name, but he's 20 and 14, which is crazy. He has 17 knockouts, though. Billy Dib, comeback of the year. Lawrence, Oliver, whatever. Brody Lee, knockout of the year. Kurt Graves, Tommy Hearns, Baldwin, whatever, and Mike Lee. Let's see it in our division. Let's see. Shane Mosley got Defensive Fighter of the Year. Pacquiao got Comeback of the Year. Pacquiao also got Knockout of the Year. I'm surprised me and Zab Judah didn't get any of the Fight of the Year. Let's see. Let's see. Butterbean retires at the age of 48. Wow. Joe Kalazaki retires. Julio Cesar Chavez never had the pleasure of fighting him, but we have sparred him. He retires. George Foreman retires. Uh, Ricky Hatton retires. Evander Holyfield. Bernard Hopkins. Zab Judah retires. After the three wars that we had, Zab Judah retires at 45, 11, and 1. Wish him a well retirement. Klitschko uh, retires. Both of the Klitschko brothers actually retire. Lennox Lewis retire. Uh, who else? Who else that actually has a name? Other than that, Randall's retire. Hey, Zab Judah had a great career, but proven we had the better one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's look at these fight challenges. We want the title, man. We want the title. We beat in Oscar De La Hoya before. Apparently, we have to prove that we are better, you know what I'm saying, and beat him again. Apparently, you know. That seems like something that we just have to do. And I'm, I'm okay with it, man. I'm okay with it. It doesn't even matter. So... Let's do this open sparring, man. We know how we how he fight. We knocked him out before. So let's go ahead and knock him out again, man. Let's go ahead and knock him out again. Alright, right, okay, we sparring Burn. I think we sparred him before or before him. One or the other. But either way, this is a perfect way, you know. We got to go in there with more speed this time because last time we went in there with not a lot of speed. And that's why we were missing a lot of our counters. You know. But. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Hold on right quick, y'all. All right, let's get into it, yeah. Ooh, good counter. See, we can't we can't be slow when we go when we go against 
when we go against Oscar De La Hoya, man, we was just, you know, we was we was slow the last time. Our speed wasn't up to par with everything else. Our endurance was up. Our power was up. Oh my goodness! Step back straight just puts him down. Flash knockdown. One thing about us, man, our defense will always be up to par. You know what I'm saying? Easily. No problem. We about to get this 40K. Wow, he doesn't even want to punch. Mm, and we heard him just again. I understand why he didn't want to punch now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has good defense, though, because... We're not able to put him down. Okay. Forty-four thousand, easily got the eight hundred XP. We got sixteen hundred uh, XP. We need to worry about everything else to put our speed up, man. Because our, our speed, our speed is terrible at the moment. Now we're going to rest. Y'all already know. Y'all already know the drill. Sometimes we switch it up. Sometimes we go to training. Sometimes we go to athletic. We switch it up sometimes. Now for the boxing growth. Bro, this straight hand works like a charm. Straight hand works like a charm. Works exactly how we need it to. Um, but we want... I think we want our, we, we need our combos up, man, because we need our speed to be just like this. You know what I'm saying? We need our speed to be fast. Yeah, we, we need we need our we need our speed fast, man. We had to our speed just wasn't up to par for the last fight, bro. So now it's time, you know, it's it's, it's time it's time to, you know, do exactly what we need to do, fight the way we need to fight, and get this knockout so we get the title shot, man. They sleeping on us, y'all. They don't want to give us a title shot. We at the Boardwalk Hall in Atlanta City. We in ATL. Going against Oscar De La Hoya once again. Okay. Our speed, our speed is way better this time. Oh. Uh huh. The announcers know about me, man. They know what I like to do. They know I like I like to get them knockouts, man. Okay, we we trading shots. We trading shots. It's a good fight. Now we counter him. We got him on the ropes. This is exactly where we want him at. Touch that body. Yeah, we touch that body while we right there. Uh huh. We make him. We make him miss. Make him pay. We mix. We mixing up where our punches are coming from at. You know, sometimes sometimes it'll be up at the head. Sometimes it'll be at the body. You know, right now. It's the early rounds. We wanna we wanna touch that body, man. We we trying to chop the tree down. You know, we keep touching that body. He trying to get off the ropes. We he do he you do end up getting off the ropes, but we heard him with a power straight just like that. That's exactly what I like right there. That, that's the beauty. 
of mixing up the angles of where your punches are coming from. They don't know they don't know where to block at. You know what I'm saying? He hit us with a power shot. I ain't gonna lie, which is crazy. He hit us with a power shot at the end of the bill. Illegal, but you know, it's okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. I see it. I see his damage is up to a 78. Let's see what's going on with him. You know, maybe his body hurt from the body shots. I don't see nothing on the eye. I think those body shots hurt. Oh, he does have a cut on his eyelid, you know, on his right side. Let's exploit that, y'all. Let's exploit that. Let's exploit that. Let's 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 see how that works. Okay, he is. He is actually orthodox. Oh, my God, we heard him. We heard him. Just like that, we heard him again. Thank you. We touching his body. Ooh, we tried, we tried to land that power straight, didn't land. Mm-hmm. We you we using we using all types of skill on him. We touching the body. You know, no problem. Touching with body shots. Not gonna lie, he's using he using some skill too. You know, he using his reach, he using his height. Very smart fighter. Oh, we count them. That's exactly how we like that. We gotta start doing them with the with the straight though. Yeah, just like that, because we already know his uh his eyelid is cut. You know. So we gotta, you know, we got we gotta keep we gotta keep that up. Oh, they didn't, let, they didn't let me throw my punch, but it's okay. We throw it right there. We trying, we trying to exploit that eye. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's looking like a lot of blood is coming out right there. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what we like. That's exactly what we need. I like, you know what I'm saying, what I'm seeing. We got a cut. And his stamina and his damage are at around at the same, so that's good. They both at 80. I got a 73 stamina right now with a 0% for damage. So. Let's keep, let's keep doing what we're doing. Don't abandon the game plan, though. Keep touching that body. Only round three. Nah, 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 nah. He's trying to hold. He's trying to hold. He's actually doing a good job in making sure that we don't get close to that eye. But it's okay. Because we can test the body, too. There we go. There we go. Now we're doing, now we doing what we, what we want to do. Uh-huh. Now we're doing exactly what we want to do. We got to keep, we got to keep touching that eye, man. We want, we want to keep touching that eye. We want to close that, you know, just like we did in the Zab Judah fight in the second and the third. We want to close it, you know. Sooner or later. Ooh, sooner or later. We will knock him down just like we just did. We step over when he throw the up. Perfectly timed. Hit him with the with the straight. He goes down. Just like that. Let's see if he gets up. 
Let's see if he gets up. You know what I'm saying? Eyes a bloody mess. Trying to move back. We're trying to put him down one more time. Mm-hmm. This close to the fight ending. You know what I'm saying? His damage is very high. Stamina still high. We had a 66. His at a 75. But his damage did go up to an 85. While our damage is still at zero. We're not taking a lot of damage at all, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. So let's keep let's keep the great work up, man. Got a 10-8 round that time. Oh. We won every all every round so far. Let's touch that body while he's while he's you know not moving too much. No 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 no. He's trying to hold. Uh huh. We counter him. That's exactly what we want to do. Uh huh. Now he's getting desperate. This is this is just working in our favor. He must be the favorite. The crowd is booing. I heard it. And he's not winning at all. Okay, he's on the ropes. Let's touch that body. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a good... He, he stepped back. Has nowhere to go. He's on the ropes now. Has nowhere to go. We trying to keep him on the ropes. Nah, 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 nah. He trying to hold. Nah, no holding. No holding. Ooh. Oh, okay. He's coming back with the fire, though. He coming back with the fire. Easily, I still think we got that round two. Oh my God, look at his eye. I think we doing a good job at attacking that eye, and I think we need to keep doing it. His eye swollen, almost swollen shut. He cannot see those left hands that's coming to him. You know what I'm saying? We in round five. I think this is the round that we get him out of here. Yeah, I think I think this is the round that we get him out of here, y'all. He's very fast, though. I am not going to lie. He's very fast. He's fighting. He does not want to go out. Can I say that he's he's not a fighter, you know? I think it's just, it's just inevitable that his water gets cut off, you know? Because you can't stop the rain. You feel me? We move our head. Move our feet. Oh, he touching that body. Uh huh. We count on. Uh huh. Oh, he's throwing his punches in bunches. Okay, now let's walk. Let's stay on the inside with him. He tries to hold, doesn't work. Mm, count him just like that. Oh my god. 
Oh, he heard us at the end of the round. Oh, he heard us at the end of the round. I think this is the round that we take off. You know what I'm saying? We use our jab. We stick and move. Because we had a 52% and I was standing while he's at 68. His damage is at 88, but it's okay if we let off the gas just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Take our counts for when we see him. You know what I'm saying? Just be smart with what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? No problem. We still catch him with the straights. Because we still want to attack that eye. Don't get me wrong. But we need our stamina up, man. We need our stamina up higher. That way we have more time to work. That's no problem. We keep, we we only using our jab to really keep him off. We're not using it to hurt him. Take those counters when we can. Threw a short up. That landed. It was beautiful. He's still using that. He's still using that height, you know. But... We are very smart. You know, taking, taking out, taking out time. You know what I'm saying? Not tripping. You know what I'm saying? Now we touching that body a little bit. Touch the body a little bit. Keep, keep trying to use our counters. Move our head. Keep moving out here. Use our counters. Round is almost up. We just going. We just going to move out. We going to move out. Maybe he got that round. No problem. But his damage is still, his damage is still up there. And actually, so is ours after that round, which makes this fight even more dangerous than what we already know that it is. You know what I'm saying? I was at a 74. His is at an 88. Tough fight, bro. Tough fight. We have a cut on the eyelid now. He literally just had one. Still does. But we have it one now. And we have to, you know, move accordingly. You know what I'm saying? But we stick it to the game plan. This is... The, this is now, now we walk. You know, we walk him down now. You know, we touch that head. We exploit that eye. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, touch the body. We exploit everything that we can. Uh-huh. Still trying to get those counters in, though. You know what I'm saying? Still trying to get those counters in. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't hold me. Don't hold me. Ooh, we catch him with a clean counter. Oh, we just missed three punches in a row. It's okay, though. It's okay. We gonna keep, we gonna keep, we gonna keep landing those ups. We gonna keep landing those hooks. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep doing what we gotta do. Oh, and he hurts us. He ends up hurting us. Crazy. Now he's touching that body. We gotta get off the ropes. 
We have to get off the ropes. Ooh, we what a way to end the round. Blood has definitely been drawn. You know what I'm saying? We in round eight. You know, we won every round. But we still got to make sure that, you know, we end up winning this fight. Because as y'all know, we have lost before. And we were winning every round. Even dropped our opponent and everything. And our opponent came back and knocked us out. One punch. That's all it takes in boxing is one punch. We keep moving. Oh, we got to move back. Our stamina is too low. Our stamina goes low. He must have hit us with a with a with a great body shot. He must be winning this round. I'm not going to lie. No, 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 no. Don't hold me. We're trying to get our counters off, but he's the one countering us. Oh, we hit him. We hit him. We push him back. Let's see. We put him down. We put him down. We put him down just like that. With a straight left hand. With a straight left hand. Great way to put him down. Let's see if it's over. Looks like he's getting up. It looks like he is getting up. And he comes back fighting. He comes back fighting. Crazy. This is a crazy fight, bro. This is way better than the first one. We studied him, but he also studied us too. We had 46% in our stamina. While he's at 51, we had 78% in our damage. While he is at 89. Woo. What a great fight, man. What a great fight. What a great fight. Ooh, we drop him with a up. We drop him with a skip in up right on the button, right on the chin. And he goes down while he was trying to throw his right hand straight. Let's see if he gets up. Let's see if he gets up. He's looking like he's getting up. But he falls back down. The ref waves it off with three knockdowns. In the ninth round, we end the fight. It's game over for him. Tremendous fight, though. Don't get me wrong. Remember, he outpunched us the first round. He threw more punches than we did in the first... Uh, not the first round, the first fight. He threw more punches than we did in the first fight. But, just like that, we end up getting a W, man. We was winning every round. This was easily a shutout. You know what I'm saying? And once again, he threw more punches than we did. He threw 50 more punches than we did you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day we still get the w he threw 243 power shots man that's crazy but we still get the w we still win the fight and easily done we win just like that man we we stay smart you know what i'm saying and we we went ahead and we got the dub man we got the dub just like that Let's see, let's see. We didn't we didn't uh, knock him out in under five rounds, and we also didn't win with less than 22 damage received, but we did everything else, so I'm okay with that. All right. We are now ranked seven. 
We have a serious injury, y'all. But there's also an invite to a title fight. With who? Let's see. With Manny Pacquiao. They want this title fight, y'all. But also, don't get me wrong. I do have a serious injury that will cost $12,000. What do y'all think we gonna do? Man, y'all already know what we gonna do. We gonna go ahead and end the stream right there. In the next fight night part six. We will choose our decision on what we're going to do. Are we going to sit on the sidelines for this injury or are we going to take this title fight? Hey, man, this was a great stream. I'm glad and I love everybody that tuned in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. 